First of all, I'm gonna to have to apologize for this video. It is gonna contain a lot of stills images, uh, mainly because I haven't filmed that much of the building of the subframe. There are bits, uh, but I feel it's important to explain this uh, before the next video I'll release, which is the fitting of a new engine. This is a picture of myself and my friend Whip somewhere in the middle of Mongolia in a 1986 Mini. It is the same 1986 Mini that you will have seen me take the engine out of in a previous video. Uh, the first thing I'm going to explain is why I took the engine out in the previous video because I never actually explained. One afternoon while we were driving on the Mongol Valley, one of my Conrads decided it went out, leaving a wonderful hole in the front of the gearbox. My plan after the rally had always been to build up a overhead twin cam 1275. However, as we never completed the rally, I have unfinished business with it and will require a one litre to take part in it again. This therefore has turned my attentions to other engines. The engine in choice is a CG10DE. This is commonly found in the K11 Nissan Micra. Many moons ago, back when I was in university, my master's project was to design a kit to fit a Nissan CG engine into a Mini. I have therefore already worked out a lot of the issues required in order to fit this engine into the classic Mini. One of the first things I did in this project is to convert the original CAD file, which was in a CATIA format, into SOLIDWORKS. This is SOLIDWORKS 2020, and the reason I'm using this software is because that's what I have currently access to and I use in my current job. I converted the frame, which was originally designed as a single solid piece, into individual components and created a set of technical drawings. From these technical drawings, I could then create the parts that are required to build a subframe. What you can see here is a basic wire frame, which represents the suspension and mounting points, and around these, I started to create the components that make up the subframe. Once the subframe was done, I roughly created a jig, making sure that I could disassemble the jig to get the subframe out. Once I was happy with the design of the subframe and the jig, then the fun could start. I designed this jig uh, on SOLIDWORKS in order to keep the parts of box section in place as we weld them. Uh, the advantages of working in a place that has a CNC router, a big thanks to Adam, the guy at work who cut this out for me. I'm now going to finish attaching the backboard and then we'll get to grinding and prepping the steel box section pieces in order to be TIG welded together. We now have the parts all fitting into the jig. Uh, the next step is to drill holes into this piece and this piece and then prep the joints here for TIG welding. This is one of the last steel plates that has to be cut out and uh, once I've cut the majority of this one out then it's a case of just notching everything, drilling the holes in and fitting it up to the jig uh, before tack welding it all together. have the right hand side of the subframe this is the right hand strut tower uh, I've worked out a lot of the uh, issues with the cab model and uh, created a set of cardboard templates so I can now replicate it on the other side got the only tack welded together I will fully weld it when I've got both sides built up video we're going to fit the subframe and the engine into the car. If you want to keep up to date with the build then please subscribe to my channel or you can follow the link to the build thread which is on the mini form in the description below. Thanks for watching.